Hi, this is Pet Dentist Joe Banyard and I want to talk to you about a very popular procedure being offered by many businesses called anesthetic free dental cleanings, which is what I'm going to call them in this video. The big question to ask is, how effective are they? There are other names used for anesthetic free dentals, including non-anesthetic dentals or dental scaling without anesthesia. Something many people don't know is that these are illegal in many states and provinces and for good reason. When we make decisions we usually are making them based on emotion and on the facts. So let's put aside the emotions and let's be logical and look at the facts about anesthetic free dental cleanings. The primary reason for teeth cleans is to clean teeth to prevent periodontal disease and also to diagnose and treat it. Often people notice that their pet has bad breath or is rubbing its face or drooling or other signs of oral pain and that's when they decide that a teeth clean is needed. To understand periodontal disease you can go to YouTube and watch videos that I have on Dentistry for Pet Owners 101 and you will get a good background in the stages of periodontal disease. There is no argument that you, I and our pets want to have zero disease in our mouths. That is stage zero periodontal disease. So let's review what this looks like using this image. In summary, there are sharp gum margins, normal depth for the sulcus, which is the moat around the tooth, no loss of bone height and no plaque and tartar, nice and comfy. This summary shows the progression of periodontal disease through stages 1 to 4. Note the brown stuff that the green arrows are pointing to on the crowns of the teeth. That is plaque and tartar and it is increasing from stages 1 to 4. The yellow arrows show that the gums are getting more and more swollen and red due to long-term inflammation and the gum height is being lost. The pockets which are that moat around the tooth are getting deeper and deeper and full of pus and tartar. Finally, look at the blue arrow pointing to the bone level, which is the dark brown substance, that's the bone. See how it is also being lost from stages 1 to 4. This is bone loss and loss of tooth support. When teeth are cleaned in an anesthetic free dental cleaning, only the crowns are scaled. So let's see what is left after the anesthetic free dental cleaning. To show up well in these images, the crowns are yellow, but in your pet, they would be white or ivory in color. After an anesthetic free dental cleaning, they will look white. Now, Okay, follow the green arrows pointing to the red swollen gums from stages 1 to 4. This is evidence of continuing inflammation. Sometimes you will notice pus and halitosis is back a few days after an anesthetic free dental cleaning and this is especially true for stages 3 and 4. In stages 3 and 4, the red arrows are pointing to the enamel bulge which is rarely seen in healthy teeth. When you see this there is usually a lot of bone loss. The blue arrows are pointing to the roots which are below the bulge of the enamel and the purple arrow is pointing to a gap between the roots in a multi-rooted tooth. You should not be able to see these structures because they should be covered by the gums. When you see them there is major bone loss but the bone is hidden much deeper under swollen gums and is out of your sight. So here are illustrations of what is left under the gum line after the anesthetic free dental cleaning. Notice that yes, the crowns are free of tartar, but look at what's left behind. Everything's left behind. The plaque, the tartar, the increasing pus, the progressive deepening of the pockets, and the loss of bone. So there's no real improvement, but you can't see this. Looks can be deceiving, remember that. Now I want to show you a couple of cases of anesthetic free dental cleaning performed on two small breed dogs. If you look at this patient, the crowns look reasonably white, but let's look closer. I'm going to show you what I am seeing with each of the teeth in this image. And the image to the left is the original image just to get you oriented. The image in the middle 
is the image of the tooth we're talking about without any writing on it and the one on the right is actually pointing out what I am seeing and hopefully you can follow along. So in this image this is the third incisor and the green bracket on the far right shows bone loss and gum recession. There is very pale tartar in this patient and it's very hard to see but I'm trying to point it out to you here with the red arrows. There's also pus which is seen as white soft goo at the base of the tooth at the gum line and is indicated by the blue arrow and the gums are also very red as you can see outlined by the yellow dot. Do you see all that? Looking at the canine tooth here you can probably now recognize the tartar, the gum recession, the loss of bone, the pus and the red gums showing inflammation. This is a really painful tooth. When probing around this tooth, the probe sank into a very deep pocket on the inside of the canine tooth. So, sterile saline was injected on the inside of the canine tooth and it came out through the nose, as you can see. And this shows that there's a communication between the mouth and the nasal passages. This is evidence of advanced periodontal disease, and these pets often sneeze and are congested. And sometimes you will also see nasal discharge coming from the nose. Here are the x-rays of these teeth. The blue dots outline the bone loss around the third incisor and the canine teeth. There's 50 percent bone loss, so stage 4 periodontal disease is the diagnosis and extraction is the best treatment for these teeth. Next, let's look at the area behind the canine tooth. There are two teeth missing here. X-rays show they are really missing. There are no roots evident on the x-ray, so nothing needs to be done. If roots were there, they would need to be extracted. Here are the upper third and fourth premolar teeth, way at the back of the mouth. These teeth are often really hard for people to see. Do you see that the first molar tooth is missing? You can see now the pus, bone loss, loss of gum height and the tartar. The yellow stars show the enamel bulge. Usually these are covered by gum so when you see them it means a lot of the supporting bone is gone. So again advanced periodontal disease. These x-rays confirm the stage 4 periodontal disease and treatment in this case should have been extraction by your veterinarian. After extractions, x-rays should be done to make sure all the roots have been removed. In the second patient, the right upper canine tooth looks relatively clean and white, but let's look closer. There is a lot of gum loss indicating bone loss in this area. Can you see that? This is confirmed by x-ray. The first premolar behind the canine has root resorption and in the mouth this tooth actually looks normal. This is something you can't see without an x-ray machine. This is also a painful tooth. The first premolar needs to be extracted but the canine tooth can either be extracted or saved with advanced procedures. These are best done by a veterinary dental specialist as they're really challenging. Also, to make sure that the outcome is successful, the owner must be dedicated to excellent home care and be prepared for several regular follow-up visits to the veterinary dental specialist. These are so important. Here is an image of the map of the dog's mouth. The red areas are areas often missed in anesthetic free dental cleanings. All the really hard to reach areas and areas where the adjacent teeth are close together. Other problems missed in anesthetic free dental cleanings are root abscesses, root resorption, tooth impactions, bone cysts, bone infection, retained root tips, and other diseases hidden in the oral tissues. You can only see these with intraoral x-ray capability. So what do you think? Do anesthetic free dental cleanings work or not? 
So as you can see, anesthetic-free dentistry is a waste of time and money. It's only cosmetic and it's like grooming. Disease is not diagnosed and treated. And pets need to be restrained so their bones can be broken. Also, the operator can be hurt by the patients. They may get bitten. It's a very painful procedure when there is disease present. There are also other risks, including the risk of tartar going into the trachea and scratches of the tooth enamel and gums from the instruments being used. What can you do that is more effective than anesthetic-free dentistry? Well, prevention. To do this, you need to brush your pet's teeth daily and make sure your pet has regular professional teeth cleans under anesthetic with your veterinarian, and these will include intraoral x-rays of all of the teeth. Remember, this is your pet, so make the right choice. If you have enjoyed this video, please share it with friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.